What is an uncommon feature of your home that you appreciate, that is not common everywhere? A roof over my deck. Laundry chute. Some maniac installed a small sauna in the house I now own. I would never have done it myself, but I used the shit out of it 8 months out of the year. PNW. I have pedals to operate my kitchen sink. Because I no longer have to use my hand to open and close the tap, I use about 75% less water washing the dishes, and when I'm filling a large and heavy pot with water, I can just walk away with it and the tap closes on its own. It's life changing. My bathtub is nearly 2 feet deep. Not a freestanding claw foot but a standard looking built in tub with a shower. I love that thing. Landlady put a hot water spigot into the sink. No kettle, no microwave, no waiting for the faucet to eventually spit out hot water, just instant hot water with a turn of a lever. It's silly how helpful even that small amount of convenience is. A roof terrace. It's awesome having drinks out there in the summer, and setting up the projector for outdoor movie nights. I have a slot that was meant for the milkman to drop off milk. It is sealed off enough to prevent anyone from getting in from the outside, but during most of the years it acts well enough as a cool box that I can store bottled water or other beverages in there and keep them chilled. Our coat closet has a light that comes on automatically when you open the door, like it does in your fridge. House was built in the early 20s. Oh, and clinker brick. It looks jagged. Our house is unique. We have a garment steaming cupboard thingy. You hang your clothes up, turn it on and next morning they look like they've been ironed. Retractable awning. Whole other room on the deck. Plus, just grateful to have a home. I live in an old ass town home apartment complex. It's well kept and updated, but the shining feature is that the walls are walls. Unless someone really makes an effort, I can't hear a damn thing around me. It's beautiful. Fuck these brand new saltine boxes with cardboard walls. The cat delivery window. Our apartment was originally a one bedroom but our cheap ass landlord decided to make it a 2BR by adding a cheap wall halfway down the living room. He also decided to put an actual outdoor window in that wall, screen and all. I just keep it open so my cats can get into my bedroom when I have the door closed. Edit. The cat delivery window, with their condo on the other side. HTTPS colon slash slash IMGUR dot com slash A slash I who won JIS. Original stained glass windows, strategically placed to reflect stunning prisms at different times of the year, and every year we've been here, we find a new area that's been highlighted. Truly remarkable. Source, move to Oak Park IL, from a big city in another country, with zero idea that this was even a thing. My backyard shares a property line with a several hundred acre nature preserve. I can walk out of my backyard with my dogs into the preserve knowing it's protected lands on the outskirts of a small town that isn't growing. It's the biggest reason we bought the house. I love it every day. The area under my stairs is the pantry. It's a huge pantry and such a good use of space. My house was built in 1910. Among its unusual features is a spring in the cellar. We're in a two-floor building with three units, two up top and a business downstairs. The business is closed indefinitely, and the landlord uses the top back unit as a storage space. So, we're the only ones in the whole building. It's a big building and it has that turret thing that makes it look like a castle, so when we leave the cat alone, I like to think it's his castle. Colon 3. 48 inch wide staircase from my garage to my basement. Way easier to move furniture into the basement. A bomb shelter from the Cold War, 